In this video, we'll find out how the environment affects your productivity. Distractions are the modern day Bonnie and Clyde. They rob of needed time. It's impossible to be productive when you allow yourself to be surrounded by distraction. And yes, it is a choice. While there's little you can do when the boss appears at your office door, we've already discussed scheduling that into your routine, spend a day making a list of the things that eat away at your time, then eliminate them. The head of the gang of thieves is, of course, social media. It can creep up on you before you even realize it. Let's say you've rolled up your sleeves and are preparing to work on that major report. Before you begin, you're going to quickly check your emails. That's when you notice a notification that your friend has posted on Facebook. No harm in quickly taking a look, is there? On Facebook, you chuckle at your friend's post, then notice a few links to some interesting-looking YouTube postings. Well, since you're here anyway, an hour later, your report is still untouched as you click your way through YouTube. This happens to everyone. Social media is addictive. People waste hours every day on mindless clicks. You're being robbed and no guns are involved. Just think of how you could use that extra time in a productive way. You need to be proactive to keep this from happening. Delete social media apps from your phone. If you need those apps for business purposes, at least disable them when you're working. It's a natural response to want to respond to texts and messages immediately. Quick responses even rank high in terms of modern etiquette. It's allegedly rude not to respond as soon as possible. The fact is, Emily Post never had an iPhone. Let's consider it rude for someone to expect you to stop whatever you're doing immediately and focus your valuable time on them. Just a single response can ensnare you into a half-hour conversation. Don't fall into the trap. When working, either turn off your phone or engage airplane mode. Return any message when you are at lunch or on break. Some messages may be work-related and possibly urgent, at least to the sender. Get into the habit of checking your inbox at designated times, perhaps mid-morning and mid-afternoon, but don't let anyone else manage your time. Distractions don't only happen on social media, they appear in person. Coworkers who are eager for a friendly chat or a distraction in their own routine can appear at your desk unannounced. These can turn into long personal chats from gossiping about a new employee to discussing the weekend's ball games. These coworkers are trying to be friendly, but they are interfering with your agenda. Politely but firmly tell them, I'm in the middle of something crucial. How about we talk at lunch? When managing your time, you need to set unapologetic and firm boundaries and remain in control of your action. Many of us feel that the more we do, the more we accomplish. We even brag about our ability to multitask. It's time to take a step back. Our brain isn't geared to concentrate on several things at once. When we try, our attention gets diluted and we end up concentrating half-heartedly on several things without focusing on one in particular. This is anything but efficient. Aim for ultimate management of your time by concentrating on one task at a time. Set a time limit for each task you need to complete and work within that time frame. One step or task at a time will get you to your goal in the best, more efficient way possible. You might not have thought of junk food as time robbers, but processed foods and sugars can deplete you of energy very quickly and make you less productive. Ignore the convenient snack machine in the lunchroom and pack some fruit or other healthy snacks for work. We face distractions everywhere and few of us make the effort to control them. Once you become master of your own time, you will be less stressed and accomplish more. It's that simple. Learn how to focus. Focus is related to avoiding distractions, but it takes it several steps further. It's easy for our mind to wander, even if we aren't being continuously interrupted. We have a lot to do and developing a razor sharp focus for the important tasks isn't always easy. Our brain is like any other muscle in our body. If we don't keep it in shape, it becomes sluggish. It can also go in different directions at once. Have you ever tried to focus on a work project while your mind is ruminating about overdue bills, in-law problems, and where to go for dinner this coming weekend? We've all been there. Our mind can turn into a crowded subway train with no room to act. You feel like you're on a speeding train going nowhere fast. Focus means control. 
control of your thoughts and actions. Proper focus is a skill that can be learned and developed. Here are some proven methods to hone your focus, manage your time more efficiently, and become more productive. 1. Meditation calms an out-of-control mind. The best and easiest form of meditation is simply to find a comfortable spot, close your eyes, and focus on your breathing as you slowly inhale and exhale. When your mind starts to wander, and it will, return your focus to your breathing. Meditating is one of the best habits to develop when you are trying to achieve self-control. 15 minutes to half an hour a day is all it takes, and it's time well spent. When you are particularly stressed, you can take a time out and meditate just about anywhere. 2. While the effect of music on our subconscious is still being studied, there is reason to believe that music does affect our brain, especially the unconscious part. The type of music is probably a personal choice, but it shouldn't be too raucous. Music is abstract, and it is thought that the very abstraction helps the mind stay in focus. It engages us on an emotional level so our mind isn't racing like an out-of-control horse when we listen. Instead, it is subconsciously processing information and keeping us focused. Imagine yourself sitting at home when you hear an unexpected noise. Whatever it is, it has your immediate attention and all your focus is immediately directed to the sound you hear. Music works very much like that. It gathers your attention. You can use music to improve your focus in two ways. The first is to really listen to the exclusion of everything else. The second method is to use earphones and listen to your chosen music while commuting or engaged in some other task. Doing so can help rid your mind of needless clutter. Three, if you're worried about time management, you probably have big goals, and big goals can be intimidating. How do you start that book, that company, or that project? It's easy to become so paralyzed you don't even start. That's not being productive. The trick to managing those huge goals is to break each one down into steps or chunks. It means understanding what smaller tasks need to be accomplished for you to attain your ultimate end goal. Writing a book may not seem achievable, but writing five pages each day is. Develop a timeline for each step leading to your goal. Running your own business can seem overwhelming. There's so much to do. Start by identifying smaller, more manageable goals. How will you develop and promote your product or your service? What is your financial plan? Create a reasonable, chronological timeline for each step that will move you ahead. With each step, you're moving your timeline forward. Have a specific period of time in mind for each step and work on that step until it's completed. There's a reason for the term climbing the ladder of success. It's the steps that complete the journey. Four, take a break. It may seem contradictory to become more productive by doing less, but our bodies have a finite amount of energy, like a car. We need to refuel. To get more done in the time you have, take the occasional 15-minute break to regenerate the brain cells. Have you ever struggled with a problem just to give up and go to sleep? In the morning, the answer came to you as clear as a bell. Some people believe we find answers in dreams. The fact is, the brain can become overloaded. Rest can clear the haze in your mind and allow you to have full clarity. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.